had to part ways with the sad vibe. Bad guy, you might. And a happy Thursday evening to you folks. Hope you're ready for some NBA action here on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Utah Jazz. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. And it's Paxson in at the point guard position. What strength from Sexton, a competitive guard who understands how to score through physical defense. At the lineup for Utah, Colin Sexton. Jordan against Sexton. Pass to Paxson. Three-pointer. Gets the three ball to go. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Don outside. And he drives in. It's rebounded by Grant. Chicago with the ball. Here's the three. Paxson can't get it to go. Done with it. Jordan picks him up. Dunn shot is good. I love that little floater by Chris Dunn. He's trying to make it a weapon. About a minute into this first quarter. Here's Paxson. Pure from three-point range. Paxson's got six points. Not just a knockdown shooter. He does a great job of finding space for his shot. Sexton, the open look. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Everything worked except for the outcome. You want him to shoot that every time. Fires from deep. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. Paxson's gone three for four from the floor tonight. Pass to Collins. Mark it outside. There's the three. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. Here's Paxson. Checked by Sexton. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. He's been so aggressive on offense. And with the results, you understand why. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. Now here's Collins. Pass to Fontecchio. Will it go? Cartwright with a rebound. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Paxson. And again, it's oh, Chicago with a three. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. And Utah calls time here. You. Clarkson comes in for Fontecchio, and it's George in for Dunn. And the Bulls making a change here. The Jazz again can't hit. Chicago calls timeout. <laughs> and we'd all love to hear what goes on in those huddles, but we just get the snapshots. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. And it's the Bulls' ball. Outpacing him right now, a 15-2 run. Let's go with a three. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. This game's taken on a whole new look thanks to this run. I totally agree. They just can't be stopped. They're just firing on all cylinders. Now here's Kessler. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Pass to Paxson. Fires the three. Collins with the rebound. George, a deep three. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And 
so it's the Chicago Bulls in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Bulls? They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. They've also been quick to set up their teammates, wasting no time making the extra pass for the open look. Chicago calls timeout. And it's the Bulls with the ball. This is the most they've led, 13 points. We've got George, Walker Kessler out there with Laurie Markkinen. Then it's Jordan Clarkson, and it's Hendricks in at the three. That's the group for Utah, getting going in the second. Now here's George to the wing on the left. Clarkson outside, just five to shoot. Off target from outside. Trying to get his man back for the last three. It helps to not make this personal. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Paxson's got six in the quarter. This first half has been all him. He's getting to his spots and going to work. Here's Utah. 19-point game. George passes to Kessler. From the high post. Chicago grabs the miss. Woo, that's just a case of bad defense and even worse offense. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Paxson's got 27 points. And it hasn't just been their stellar offense. Their defense has been effective as well. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Flying high, Jordan Clarkson. That is how you complete a lob. Out to the right wing. Here's Paxson. No good on the triple. Utah with the ball. All right, let's get a report from Alley. Well, Lori Markin has become the go-to scorer for the Jazz. Coach Will Hardy said, quote, it's not easy going from being a role player to being the guy. There's an emotional part of being counted on like this, and he's handled it very well. To have the evolution that he has had is something that he should be very, very proud of. Brian? Started. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, Ali. Good stuff there. And Utah calls time here. Get up your feet and get around your teachers. I want to hear you all. played in the second quarter. Clarkson for three. Cartwright with a rebound. Smooth sailing for Chicago. Here's Paxson. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Credit the plays they're calling for him. Getting him right now some good shots. Here's Dunn. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Challenging the heart of the defense, Dunn will break you down if you don't stay connected to him. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Paxson. Launches a three. Sends it home from three-point land. 
Paxson's got 36 points. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Sexton looking around. And the Jazz tack on two more. One of the toughest shots for a guard with all the bigs in there. But Colin showing confidence. Here's Paxson. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. The three-point shot has been his weapon of choice this quarter. Can't get it to drop. And so it's Chicago. Up 25 big ones as we head into the next period. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. We'll be right back after this word. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. And so in the game for the Bulls. And it's Cartwright in at the five spot. And again, it's Chicago with a three. He's accounted for over half their points thus far, shouldering the load offensively. Pass to Fontecchio. There's the triple. Rebounded by Pippen. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Here's Paxson. And again, it's Chicago with a three. He is single-handedly carrying this team right now thanks to his terrific scoring performance so far in this game. And so it's Utah with it. Sexton passes to Collins. Now here's Sexton. Driving in. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second personal foul. Such a furious drive by Colin Sexton, speeding into the defender. First free throw is good. All right, both free throws good from Sexton. Here's Paxson, defended by Dunn. Fires for three. Rebounded by the Jazz. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Here's Sexton. Cartwright with a rebound. Cartwright's got five rebounds in the game. Let's it go from deep. On target from range. Paxson's got 48. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Here in the third, he's really started to heat up from the perimeter. Sexton passes to Collins. Shoots. Damn, that one's good. Marketing. Marketing. Beautiful play call. That's understanding marketing strengths and putting him in a position to succeed. Here's Paxson. And again, hits the Bulls from deep. And since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question, they've settled in and executed brilliantly. Let's the three fly, and again, it's the Bulls from deep. And I love how he's pushing the tempo and creating for others. He does this game in and game out. Incredible. You know what it is? It's his creativity. That's making this engine run. Now here's Dunn. High arcing shot. 
Tries again. And that's two points on the layup. Dunn's got six. At the end of the day, when the ball goes up, there's no substitute for effort. Here's Paxson. And again, hits the Bulls from deep. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Markkinen, and a nice finish on the layup. Markkinen's got his second basket of the game. Quality pass by Sexton, taking full advantage of that opening. Here's Paxson. And again, hits the Bulls from deep. There's 14 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Here's Markkinen. Done outside. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Dunn's got five points in the quarter. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. And so it's Chicago just dominating the opposition as they maintain a 36-point advantage. And they've been shooting the lights out from the arc. All those threes have this poise for a blowout. We'll be right back with you shortly. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Chris Dunn is out there with Colin Sexton. Then it's Laurie Markkinen. Then there's John Collins. And it's Fontecchio in at the three, the small forward. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. Markkinen misses. And here's Chicago. The three ball sinks it from John distance. Paxson. And he's not Four taking three. it easy on them at all. I mean, we all know he's going to keep pouring it on. I mean, defensively, if you have any hope of coming back in this game, you can't afford to give him those looks. Here's Fontecchio. From deep. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Purdue's got four rebounds now. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Jackson, good. He has really points. come into this second half on an absolute tear. Really impressive effort from him so far. Now here's Dunn. Outside Sexton. For three. Hits the trifecta. What I like is when Chris Dunn keeps his poise, keeps his eyes up, good things happen. Here's Paxson. And again, it's John Chicago Paxson. with a three. And trying to put the game away, he's been nailed all evening. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Now here's Dunn. Trying to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Paxson. Checked by Sexton. Beyond the arc. Hits a three-pointer. Coming down the stretch, they've leaned on the perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry. But it can go the other way as well. Here's Markkinen. It's hauled in by Purdue. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Drills it from deep. Since the break, he's been on point from beyond the arc. I'll tell you what, when he's this hot, it's a thing of beauty. And 101 left in the fourth quarter. Done outside. Pass to Sexton. Looking to win the run. It's hauled in by Purdue. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. Here's Paxson. And again, it's Chicago Paxson. with a three. Three points. Uh, leaving nothing to chance. This run shutting the door on him. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Fontecchio, the pass to Dunn. The three-pointer off the mark. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Paxson. And again, hits the Bulls from deep. 
During this final quarter, he's erupted from outside the arc. Just assume every three he takes now is going in. Marketing for three. He drops it from range. Already one of the best shooting bigs in the league. Marketing matches threes. Here's Paxson. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. And that'll wrap it up, folks. So for Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. Now let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game.